what are those things? How are they tied together, Dark Star? Well, one of them doesn't belong with the others. Dark Star, what do these three things have in common? How are they tied together? The Saudi uh, Invitational last February, which was an Asian tour event, won by Harold Varner. Good for him. The PIP money, the player, because I like to say it, the Player Impact Program. Very thoughtful title. uh, That was recently doled out by the PGA Tour to a special 20 people. And the Hero World Challenge, which is being played as we speak. We're filming here. It's uh, Friday, December 2nd, and the Hero is going on. You guys are probably seeing this on the 4th, I hope. Uh, But what are those things? How are they tied together, Dark Star? Well, one of them doesn't belong with the others. Well, that reminds me of a song. One of these things is not like the others. I won't won't sing it, but I would love to sing it. No singing, Sammy. So the... Public Investment Saudi Fund, which was back in February, was really the precursor. It was the preliminary money for live players versus the PIP and this Hero World Golf Challenge is really a slush fund for the PGA Tour. Because um, mm-hmm. we have some interesting names on both. But it is, it is, yeah. it is. I would guess that a lot of our audience knows who's at the Hero. Um, hardcore golf fans at least know that. Everybody yeah. else is like, hero what? I'm, I'm watching football, American football. Um, and World Cup, let's get real. Um, so those two things going on, and then you have a hero world challenge in the Bahamas, uh, which is not in the United States, Dark Star. Um, yeah. and, I, and I know you and I are acutely aware of this, as is our audience, but a lot of, uh, of Americans probably are not thinking that. Of course, they know the Bahamas is another country, but it is interesting that it's there. It's not in Florida, Interesting. Uh, but yeah, the, the Saudi event last February that Harold Varner won. Get ready with your names there because I'd love to hear them again. Because when I first saw this list, it got my full and undivided attention. It's not often that the other team or the other side hands you a blueprint for what they're about to do before they do it. Usually you your opponent it. doesn't do that normally in business. It's not how it works. But in this case... The live guys and their Saudi uh, investors handed them (laughs) the the playbook. And who went to this Asian tour event? How many guys on the PGA Tour played in Asian tour events? Like, never. Very rarely happens. It's not a DP World event. It's an Asian tour event in Saudi Arabia in February. And what was the PGA Tour event that was up against it? Pebble Beach. The Pebble Pebble Beach Beach. Pro-Am. The yeah. Pebble Beach AT&T Pro-Am, where Jim Nance has a beautiful home right on the whatever, 8th Fairway or something. Yeah. Yeah. The Clam Bake, where everybody wants to go. It's a pretty big purse. It's a big tournament to win. It's in Northern California. It's a great place to be. Everybody's there. CEOs are there. Your sponsors are there. Everybody's there. And yet, there was an Asian tour event that nobody would go to except who who went there, Dark Star. Well, just to run down well, give me the names list. Give me quickly. The list. Yeah. So Varner, Watson, Cam Bubba Smith. Watson. Bubba Watson was there. Isn't that Abraham Answer. Tom, Abraham uh, Answer. Interesting. Dustin Johnson Dustin was there. Johnson. Tommy Fleetwood was there, but he has not made it to live. Joaquin Neiman. Hmm. Vegas was there. Shane Laurie was there. Remember Shane Laurie? Johnny Lowry Vegas was get, there? Jonathan Vegas was yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. Shane well, Lowry had to hop on Rory's jet a few times to stick on the PGA Tour. Henrik Stenson, Phil Mickelson, Wade Ornsby. What was Xander Shoffley doing? He had to be thinking about things. It's interesting that he was there. You had Westwood, Casey, Garcia, Thomas Peters, Finau. We've seen his name pop up in mm-hmm. some various places. Mm-hmm. Kevin Na, um, Patrick Reed. So Ian Poulter... The only guys really not there that end up going to live were all the South Africans who well, they were going. They were yeah. going. They were yeah. gone. They, were, so, the, they so. were the lead guys there. <laughs> so the point is, yes, like you said, it, back in February versus the AT&T Pebble Beach, Liv and Greg handed Jay a blueprint. These guys are coming. We're giving them money because this was a 
this the the tournament to win the tournament and and the cash prize was only a total of five million, but there were some the rumor was some egregious appearance fees. Yeah, it's international so, play because it's not in the United States, and you're allowed to accept appearance money when it's not right. in the United States, like the Bahamas. Like, like the, the Bahamas. Bahamas. Yeah, like the Bahamas. What's in the Bahamas? Oh, yeah. the hero this week. Yeah. What's in the Bahamas is not the United States. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> there are, so, there are, there, Washington, D.C. is not in the Bahamas. That's right. All right. So yeah. to tie all this together so we can, we can move forward here, you had, back in February, Liv Handing Jay a blueprint. These are the guys that are probably going to go. Because we're giving them money right now, appearance fees. And then we're tying this together with the PGA Tour and their reactionary has increased the... Reactive. Reactive. You're right. Reactive. Has turned... They added 60 million more to the PIP, 10 more guys. They've got this hero event in the Bahamas, which is another just slush fund. I mean, they're out there, you know, with the wives getting massages, I'm sure. You know, who cares about the golf? Because, you know, it's, it's, it's free money. So... All right, I know you want to talk a little bit. Well, you can't overstate it enough. I mean, it's the details that are just hilarious. They're hilarious. If you you like watching business competition, sports competition, any kind of competition, this is hilarious. Your opponent handed you the blueprint. Here's what we're going to do. Here's our game plan. Stop us or try. And what did the PGA Tour? So let's back up one second. First of all, the AT&T Pebble Beach is a major tournament on the deep. It's not the hit and giggle in Minnesota. It's not the rocket mortgage. It's none of those things. It's an actual tournament that has a history. It's Bing Crosby started it. It's a big deal. And it's a a nice golf course. It's, it's you know, those last few holes are beautiful and blah, blah, blah. So everybody's there. And yet DJ, all these guys, these marquee players are foregoing that to go to Saudi Arabia halfway around the world to play on the Asia tour and they're all going at the same time. It's not like, you know, where one player goes cause he's going to get a huge package and he's taking a vacation and blah, blah, blah. That happens. You go play in Fiji maybe and etc. that happens. It's a one-off, but you have 20, 25 guys on tour that have tour cards that are winners and major winners. And they're all going to be there. Jay. Hey Jay. Can you imagine being Jay's, you know, vice president of something? Hey Jay. All these guys just ask for permission because they have to get permission to go right. play in Saudi, not the AT&T. Are we going to do that? Are we going to grant well, them permission? Right. And Jay's and like, well, be- we always have. I mean, we just and- do that. Why are they? You know, Jay, well, wouldn't you? Dark Star, if you were the CEO of the PGA Tour, would that maybe be interesting to you that all these guys are going to Saudi Arabia in February and not the AT&T? Well, this is, the, this is our point about them being, um, you know, not being proactive. Jay probably didn't even realize it until they rubber stamped it. He pulled it out, rubber stamped, yeah, DJ's going, uh, 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 go it's on just... Harold and Bubba. And then he went, hey, that's a lot of guys going. I wonder why. <laughs> it's, well, you know, the only, the <laughs> DeChambeau did usual. not go, right? I did not hear you say DeChambeau. I don't remember seeing his name on that list. Um, and Kepka you know, didn't I, go. Um, I don't think. Yeah, I don't. I, I didn't see I, their I don't names. Know. And they might have been late ads, but Mickelson, DJ, and those other, Reed, sort of the basic guys that were really in a hurry to get off the PGA Tour, yeah. um, and then a bunch of other guys that were just, oh, yeah, you know, Kevin Na, all in, I'm, those I'm guys. Sorry. So I'm looking down, way down. Bryson withdrew, so I don't know if he showed oh. up. Uh, hmm. He play, uh, Interestingly, he played one round, so he must have taken... So he, he was there. He got his. Well, that's just. I mean, you know, this. Well, hey, let me say to you and to the audience. You already know this, but to the audience, I really wanted to start this episode by saying, "What would Elon do? (laughs) What would Elon Musk do?" So, if Elon were the CEO of uh, the PGA Tour commissioner, and because he's in the headlines on this Twitter thing, and you know all the stuff that he's doing that's funny, and if you like him or you don't like him, it's still very interesting. And he's a shrewd business guy. I think you have to allow that. I. I think he's quite shrewd. <laughs> so what would Elon do? Ah, uh, Mr. Musk. Well, well, let me. Mr. Musk. The table. All our players are going to Saudi Arabia. Not all. A whole bunch of our players are going to Saudi Arabia. Well, really, who? Well, DJ Bryson, <laughs> Mickelson. You know, you don't like him, but on all these other guys are going to be there. What are they going there? What is going on? You would be. What would Elon do? Elon would say, "Look into it. 
what the hell? What's going on? And of course, live was already a thing. Let us bring in the, yeah. the, the, the data point that two weeks later, February 20-something, Roy McElroy is front and center at the uh, Genesis in Riviera, just down the coast from the AT&T, saying, Liv's dead. It's all dead. It was So it was in the press. Would this end it? Oh, this, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, who, who's left? Who's left to go? I mean, there's no one. It's dead in the water, um, in my opinion, and I just can't see any reason why anyone would go. And they were pressing, I think it was DJ, and all those players the week of the Riviera event came on, came out in public and said, oh, no, including DeChambeau in a big way, I think, but at least Dustin John. And, no, no, we love the PGA Tour. We're all staying. So somewhere between the Saudi event and two weeks later, all this intrigue is going back and forth. And then Rory says what he says about Phil. Oh, the Phil thing comes out. Oh, isn't that interesting? So how long? We're not. That's not part of the show. But how long after the Saudi event, this this Asian tour event, did the leak come from the book guy on Mickelson? Uh, we got to look that up. That's right around that was before the Genesis. But my point is, so Liv was alive, well, and kicking, and everybody knew it. Including well, trying, my it, the big difference is, yeah, they at that point was when they first realized it was a threat after they rubber stamped all these guys going to Saudi in but February. But they rubber stamped everybody. So what does Elon so, do? He looks into it. Why yeah, are you guys going? What is going on here? What's happening? He get to the bottom, and of course, it was very obviously what's happening. The Saudis are paying these guys a bunch of money to show up to give them a a rah rah. They're giving a presentation. Hey, right. here's what we're going to do. Here's how it's going to work. Here, If you come, this is how it's going to happen. Here's the money. The, they probably didn't talk exact money, but they got the royal treatment. They got a ton of money. It was the same group. These are the guys that were going to, th- the core of what we're going to try to do. And, and fine, we know who the core guys were, but some of these names are just, it's just intriguing. Joaquin Neiman, he was already that far along. It cannot be coincidental that he was there. And then he, it's a big grab for Liv whenever Neiman actually came over, which was in August or something, right? Right. It was late. So the and, point, and that was the like, point, oh, big get for Liv. Meanwhile, he'd already played in Saudi Arabia, you know, seven months earlier or, or right. six months before that. They had a blueprint and they didn't do anything. So I'm not, I'm going to stop talking, but I could do a whole two hours on yeah, the we could talk in, for- ineptitude of... I don't want to say any CEO of anything that has that kind of intel and does nothing or does whatever he does do and it's 100% ineffective. Well, you I got to be point, kidding me. Yeah. You, the you point that kidding. we're making here is what did Jay do? Because now, remember, the first tournament wasn't until June. So you he have a few permission months. permission to go to Saudi Arabia? Well, that's not even the point. So he gives him permission. That's fine. I, I don't even care. At that okay. point, okay, so let's say that ship sailed. You got till June, and your game plan is you're going to have guys like Rory McIlroy come out and say, Liv's dead, it's dead in the water, nobody's going. Because really, Jay, what do you think? You're going to sit down with Dustin Johnson, you're going to sit down with DeChambeau, guys that you know don't like you to begin with because you've suspended them for various reasons, Kepka, et cetera. And what did you do? Did you threaten them? Did you uh, ignore the fact that they might leave? Did you not think... Um, that it's a real threat. And and obviously these, and what did you think they were going to tell you? Oh yeah, no, Jay, every, they, of course they're going to tell you, Jay, everything's right. fine because they're going to play in right. the Masters. Yeah. They're going to play a, in the U.S. Open. Take it off the international Open. relations. Excuse me, yeah. are you building nuclear weapons in secret? No, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, we don't have any of that stuff. I mean, what are they going to yeah. say? Are you thinking about going to live? Of course not. I would never no. think about that. No. Why would I? You don't why, say why, anything. Why would You deny the rumor dollars, until it's time to it? go. Right, they all did, and literally at, to a man, whether it was Kepka, DJ, every single one of them, right up until the day before they left, they weren't going. Of course, right? Uh-huh. And status so quo. The, status quo. And that brings me back to you know we were trying to tie this into now the PGA has created all these slush funds. So the the point in uh, 2021, did did Jay really think that? Throwing $40 million at 10 different players at the top was going to move the needle in that the initial PIP? It just, it, so he so underestimated uh, not only LIV, but the Premier League, any kind of other threat happening. He thought he 
had it all under control 100%. Because 40 million for 10 guys, which is the 2021 PIP program, that is what yeah. Dark Star is talking about, was a drop in the bucket. And it didn't work right. because four of those 10 guys left for live with the money. Well, it, it's a, it, was a, it was a ridiculous program. <laughs> I mean, it's still, a, it's still a ridiculous program right now because 100%. you know it's supposed to be, uh, let me see, uh, it's supposed to meant to be who's a positive indicator via the internet, uh, social media. Now, meanwhile, as we all know, as, as I made the analogy before, uh, if I donate a million dollars to a children's hospital on Tuesday morning, that story's dead by Tuesday lunch. If I beat my wife or get pulled over for driving 150 miles an hour, that story's going to be around for a, for you know Ever. a month or two. Forever. Forever. Right, <laughs> Forever. exactly. So the, the fact that Tiger wins because he got in a car accident the first year, he doesn't even play golf, and we wanted to bring up, too. Yeah, you had Jason Day, Ricky Fowler, Tiger Woods. Yeah, yeah, go over this the PIP. Year's... Go, go over the PIP list, because not everybody yeah. looks at that garbage. On this year's 20 PIP. Guys, 20 guys split $100 million. Right. But this year there the... was a twist. We'll get into that in a minute. There's a twist yeah, this well, year, though. Well, there We're not just going to give you the money. No, 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 no. Oh, that, that's right. We yeah, are. Yeah, we you, we're not that. Well, actually, Jay's lawyers are not that stupid. They're yeah, like, you yeah, got, you're you going to have to have some candy for that. There's going to yeah. be some strings attached here. <laughs> yeah. So there's anyway, this strings. year, this year, like I said, when you look at the PIP, yeah, give us the list. You, give us the list. Right. I love the so, list. The list is hilarious. So, Start at the top. So Tiger, Rory, Jordan, Justin. And, and, and what does I, Tiger get? How much? Fifteen million. Fifteen million. million. <laughs> Rory gets how much golf did he play? Uh, he played. He made the cut at the Masters. He did. I make think the he, cut he withdrew from the PGA, and I think he missed the cut at the uh, British. And that's all the golf. Now, he at, and and because we are fair and open-minded people here at the Thinking Man Show, it's about thinking. You got to. I will take this opportunity because I don't want to just poop on Tiger whenever possible for you know for any reason. The guy did walk all four rounds at Augusta plus the practice with that leg all right. torn up. After a brutal injury that nobody else really, I mean, you know, yeah. hats off to him for doing the, putting in the work, suffering through the pain and the agony of walking around and getting ready to walk around and all that stuff. I think that's real. You're a medical guy. You can attest to that. Yeah. Um, no, that, uh, but that's but how that's not... badly he wants to, that's a burning desire about winning majors right. and it to, to the detriment of everything else in his life, you know, get rid of the wife, get rid of the kids, whatever. It doesn't matter. Majors matter to me. But, yeah. you know, hats off for that, at least. But that's the only thing he did to move the needle, uh, besides come up with an alternative right. sports league called so Tomorrow Sports. He wasn't, but he was And he still gets a, $15 million. But he wasn't a positive indicator. So, like, all these CEOs, and I equate smart CEO with being the, uh, you know, galactically stupid from... from yeah, yeah. Uh, we're losing, we're using Elon as the, as the model CEO, so to speak, and uh, yeah. Jay right. as the opposite of that, yes. Because the, the, the PIP, who wins, is the exact opposite of the stated intent. You know, the, the, these aren't positive things. Yes. Anyway, well, you're going to give us the guys. Give us the guys. Well, I mentioned the first four because we should just open every show with this. If your name's not Tiger, Rory, Jordan, or Justin, you're not yep. a favorite son of the PGA. And you're not <laughs> they would have given money. Davis Love a couple of dollars, but he's just, you know, they can't yeah. justify anyway. that at all. So then you go down, you got Rom, Scheffler, Shoffley, Fitzpatrick, Zalatoris, Finau, Montgomery, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Montgomery? Ma Morikawa, Lowry, oh. uh, Kisner, Homa, right. uh, Horschel, Fowler, Scott, Day, Cantley, Hovland. So let's, let's oh, look at the bottom. Oh, another shout out we to Billy NASCAR, Horschel. It all worked to some extent. It worked. So sticking well, your face in the camera to say live is the worst thing since ever. Um, it, it and he got $3 million. Billy. And it worked for Billy, and Max Homa got three million because he's a, I, I guess he's a social media fiend. But well, let's let's won. look at these he bottom few. I mean, he's playing good golf. Okay. Uh, but my favorite is you got Ricky Fowler, <laughs> Jason Day received the same PIP money as Patrick Cantlay. Yeah, that now, is. I mean, now, now I, I admitted Cantlay doesn't. Cantlay's have much a nice guy. I'm just going to assume he's a nice guy. I have no idea, but. Yeah. You talk about hitting a guy in the head with a pole. Hey, yeah. Patrick, so, this is what we think of you. You got the same handout that Jason Day and Ricky Fowler got, who don't play yeah. golf really anymore. Not really. So so let's get right into some of the meat of the show here. Patrick Cantley is also not at the hero. 
He's yes. the only guy is, conspicuously missing. This from is Dark the hero. Star's move. This is let's compare the PIP. You know, these are the favorite people on the yeah. PGA Tour, right? These are the guys we don't want to go to live. That's what it's become. Because the, the PIP and the hero are, are oh the, the strings. Got to mention the strings. There's strings attached. You don't get the money right away. You get a little oh, bit. Yeah. yeah, you get a little you, bit of the money. And I'm not looking at the. You guys in the audience can look it up. It's it's. We'll look it up for you. But the, go look. You don't have to wait for us. It's you get a little bit in January, I believe. About twenty five percent, maybe, and then it's it's you have to do sort of a, not an earnout, but it's sort of like an earnout where you have to check all the boxes. You have to show up at the events you said you were going to show up at. You got to follow the rules of the PJ Tour through. It might even be through the FedEx Cup. So through I don't the FedEx? think yeah. you're. I don't think you're seeing all your PIP slush fund money until right. well into two thousand twenty three. So they're not going to make the same mistake as they made right. last year, where last you took year, the money right. and ran to live. Right. So, yeah, yeah that, that's the twist. Which this goes year. to show you how confident they are in their product. Yeah, exactly. Not very. Is not the very confident. Now, they are checking a box. We could just say it's good lawyering, but it's not a very good lawyering, but it's not a very positive statement. I mean, when you want to bonus a player or an employee, you don't give them a bonus and then tell them they're going to get the money a year from now. That doesn't right. go down very well, usually. No. Um, but it is, it is interesting. But Darkstar is going to compare the PIP. Uh, prima donnas to the hero world challenge prima donnas and what does that list look like those it two is lists a, well it's, it's almost an identical list i, I think well first of all you throw out rory rory's not in the bahamas he's probably he relaxing. probably has a legitimate reason not to be there well plus we know I, I he think, worships the ground tiger walks on right but i think he's also not there because he's won so much of this bonus slush pool money that he's like, he, he's, it's an embarrassment of riches for him. Maybe. He's like, they might have opened not, a slot gotta, for somebody else. Right. And I think possibly, and, 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 you know, since you mentioned that, I'll just go down to the bottom. The last three guys on the world golf rankings and um, that were in, at the hero are Straka, Kistner, and Corey Connors. Those are the guys that are kind of outliers. You, you, you basically have the top 20 guys in the world, top 17 guys in the world there that either aren't on live or injured. And then you have those three names after you're skipping a few guys. And they like didn't Brian get PIP Harman money. And a Hatton. Uh, right. Straka and Connors did not get PIP right. money. And, and Kisner but, didn't get any PIP. No, Kisner did. Did he really? Yeah, oh, I do Kisner. remember seeing that. Yeah, yeah that's Kisner amazing that his money. star has moved that far. Yeah. So he was um, good for 13. him too because he's well, a decent. He's got guy. a personality. He's he relates to a lot of people. It's a, on, it, it, uh, it's, yeah. it's a it's a personality that I really like. They Has he actually, ever played on a Ryder Cup? Um, he's been on a. I think he was just on like his first international event. Did, uh, did he was play the, the President's, President's Cup? Cup? He played the President's Cup. His first. Yeah, but he's never event. played Ryder Cup. I'm pretty sure. I don't think not. he's played never Ryder. Cup. He's never been ranked that high, but. And, yeah. But a, a very likable guy. Good for you, Kevin. Um, but it's interesting. That the winds of fortune, right? Now, all of a sudden, yeah. you're, in the, you're in the top echelon. So there's, well, there's, if I heard you correctly, and I know I did, there's 17 guys that got PIP money that are all at the hero, right? I, I, I'm pretty sure that's the... It's or pretty close. close. to that. And there's so, 20 guys there. at the hero, right? Yeah. It's like 16. So I think Jay, uh, excuse me, Day, Fowler, well, they Woods, can't play golf. Rory it's, are not at the hero. Yeah, Rory, maybe he's got something yeah. going on with the wife. Um, so yeah. the, the field at the hero, I just want to be clear because I haven't had a chance to tune in uh, this week to the hero um, <laughs> because has. I had to wash my car. Um, the There's 20 guys in the field, right? Right. Very limited field event. Still gets Correct. points. Correct. Still gets points. Still gets um, points, yes. But then there's how many guys in the PIP? 20. 20! It's like Roman numbers here. Everything's 100. <laughs> um, yeah. There's 20 guys on PIP. There's 20 guys of the hero. And the hero with only 20 guys means that you can basically, even with the wives and the girlfriends there, you can have dinner two of the four nights or five of the or, or uh, three of the five or two of the five nights, however many nights they're there. I guess it's four probably. In this glorious, beautiful, exclusive resort in a foreign country where they can have appearance money to show up and everything's paid for and it's magnificent, I'm sure. But you can have dinner in a little room. I mean, you can, you're all sitting in the same place. I mean, this is a really intimate event. I don't want to yeah. not put emphasis on that. You go right, to this, this thing and you are, you're not hiding in your bathroom, you know, all the, the whole time. You are rubbing elbows with Tiger. You know, you know how much time Kevin Kisner spent with Tiger Woods in the past 10 years? Uh, 
10 Zero. seconds. Yeah. 10 seconds. Yeah. And and any any number of those guys. Tiger does not hang around a lot of players. No, Tiger is notorious for <laughs> But he, he is, is this weekend. Gone. He is this week. Yeah. And That's right. you get to go and hang out with Tiger Woods for at the Bahamas with all expenses paid and we're giving you a quarter of a million to show up and you can and, win money being by being there. And, and you're going to win a lot of money and you're probably going to leave it in the Bahamas. And, and what do you think they're on. talking about behind closed doors? These are all the same characters as the point Dark Star is making. These are the same 20 guys plus, well, there's three that are the outliers and what did we decide to call those guys? They're the what that we decide to say? Because they're not in the, the inner the, circle. Like the, Con- the Connors, kids. Well, they're the guys that are, I think, the prime targets for LIV. Yes, that's why they skipped Harmon. They skipped Harmon Hatton, Bradley, and those guys because well, we haven't even gotten to that. Keep, it's like they, who's not they, there is very interesting. Yeah, very, very interesting. We haven't put well, emphasis on that yet. Well, that's true. That's the whole point. Those are the guys that yes. are fed up for ahead, one close reason. Close the doors. Or the other. Close the doors. I, I put the emphasis where yeah. I wanted to put it. I don't want to yeah. take all the air out of the room so like I Cantley, usually do. Cantley, but Cantley ahead. and Matsuyama are the two real guys that aren't at the hero. Matsuyama got zero PIP money. So the point is, here's Correct. Hideki Matsuyama. Yes. He got like nine hundred thousand dollars in bonus money, and Rory got thirty million. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, Rory got like thirty million or something. In, in, we got uh, the FedEx, a, 17 the FedEx and the, the FedEx. PIP. And then we got PIP. 18 in the FedEx, the FedEx, 12 in the PIP. Yeah, so we got like $30 million. Um, and Bonus. Hideki got less than a million. So Hideki got a bag of Skittles, and Rory got the keys to the castle. <laughs> I love it. He got you the know? ice cream sundae with the fudge. Not the cherry. I don't think he, he even got the, got the fudge. You know. All I get's the I cherry. Mean, just and and why is Cantlay not, Cantlay's not there? Because it's like I've been one of the top players in the world for the last four or five years, and I get two million in PIP money, and he did not play well at Eastlake, so I think he only got another million or something there. They gave him a cheeseburger. They didn't even give him the fries with the special, uh, you know, mayonnaise dipping sauce. I mean, I, really? Yeah. I think it's uh, so. Those two guys, I think, are very um, noticeably absent. Noticeably absent. And, now, and there's I, a reason, because they got nothing. They got, they got uh, nothing relative yeah, to the rest of the players. We've looked. Audi- I can hear the audience yelling at us for lots of reasons, which is fine. Good. We like that. Um, the They're yelling and saying, well, Matsuyama, I mean, he doesn't move the needle for anybody. Nobody watches for him, blah, blah, blah. Well, okay. I'm not going to take direct uh, you know, pause with this, but let me say... That when he won the Masters, the media certainly pointed it. They certainly made a big hoo-ha about it because it was the first time that a Japanese player had done that. Boy, isn't that awesome. G- grow the game. Global golf. La, la, la. Wonderful. All hold hands. Sing kumbaya. So the media chose to pump that up with the PGA's tours media, friendly media. Fine. So that's that. And so why isn't he getting something? I mean, $2 million. Come on. Throw something at the guy. And here's even the bigger point. I saved this one for last. Hideki, unlike, say, Jason Day, who I, I cannot figure out why they would throw money at Jason Day, even though he's a super guy, nice guy, great guy, fine, good for him. But Jason Day, all right, Hideki Matsuyama represent. he is a sports hero somewhere. Somewhere in the world, Dark Star, he is an actual sports hero with a huge audience and following. Where would that be? Well, let me get, so Japan well, and the Japan. Asian rim, hold on a second, but here's the other thing about the PIP that I got to interject quickly. You're telling me all those people in Asia and Japan, the, the most connected place on the planet, he doesn't get the Google searches to even get a cup of coffee on the PIP? I, I find it's that- It's not English-speaking media. They're going after English-speaking media, but my point there, really? and you didn't play along- was Hideki is one of the top, and I don't know, I don't, I don't have a lot of time to spend researching who the number one, two, and three sports figures are in Japan, but I know Hideki's in that group yeah, since the absolutely. Masters. Since the ma- he was big before the Masters. Now he's super big. It was a thing in Japan because they're golf nuts. They love golf, yeah. and he won, you know, arguably the most important major. You could argue that. Fine. There's arguments for all three of the four. And he won it. So how many people are in Japan? 125 million people. It's a big place. It's a big market. 
and the PGA Tour by not inviting Hideki into the inner circle, the PIP money and the hero money and the hero hangout money, but he doesn't speak English and he doesn't do that. Yeah, that's all true. But you, you yeah. know, he's a star. You got to accommodate him unless you go back to our episode a few episodes ago that says Hideki yeah. mm, may be gone. We think he's going. I think he's going I, I think, to LIV. Yeah. And he's not there. And you know, yes. I told, what did I tell you when you told me about the hero? I said, Tiger Woods is no stupid. He's not dumb. Jay is relatively not that gifted. But Tiger, I think he knows what's going on. I think he's a smart guy. He's not going to, he is going to work hard not to have anybody at his clam bake who then turns around and goes to LIV. Ab- absolutely. That would Tiger, be a slap yeah. in the face. And he wouldn't yeah. like that at all. So if you're there, you ain't going anywhere. And Hideki ain't there. And Cantley's not there. Now, we've never speculated that Cantley's going anywhere off the tour, but we can't find any news stories, not a tweet, nothing. That's, and then maybe somebody in our audience knows about it or can and, it, and will tell us, is there any explanation as to why Patrick Cantley is not at the Hero World Challenge? Is he hurt? Yeah. Is he getting married? Is he having a baby? What is there, what, what's going on? It's only over there in the Bahamas. It's not far away. So, so I, I think that that's the that's our whole point of this show is Matsuyama and Cantlay are out of that inner circle for whatever reason, and we should say it like I said, maybe we should just say it every five minutes. If you're not named Tiger, Rory, Justin, or Jordan, you're not a favorite son, and those guys got to be weighing their options. They must. They have to weigh their options. You see where Tiger's throwing. You know, extra money. Well, and it's not. Ti- and, and to be honest with you, let's face it. Tiger is running a lot of this show now. The Tomorrow Sports. He's got his special little tournament coming up here on December tenth. You know, th- this is all huge money making. And I, and I think really what you're looking at in the future is LIV is going to represent the rest of the world, and the PJ well, Tour is going to represent the United too. States. Uh, a- and. Still doesn't explain Cantley though. That's a that's an interesting one. Well, I, and you know, here's well, here's here's the situation. And, and when you look at the schedule, I look at the tournament in February in Mexico on LIV as sort of a reward for the guys that the one came out up. this the first one year. Coming up. The one coming up. The one yeah. coming up in February is a reward, right? The next ones are not till after Augusta. So if you're Cantlay and all those guys, you really don't even have to think about a decision until after Augusta. So you can solidify yourself oh, I hear what you mean. Yeah. in the world yeah. rankings through Augusta, and then LIV season really doesn't start till after Augusta. So I think you've got the guys like Matsuyama, you've got the yeah, guys like Cantlay. How deep do you have to go to get your points in order to qualify for, not the, well, the Masters, but... Um the PGA well, comes next, then the U.S. Open, then the Open. Well, I think the big thing is you look at Dustin Johnson fell from third in the world at the end of 21. He's down to 38th as long as you stay in the top 50. So if you're a Patrick Cantlay, a Xander Shoffley, you stay in the you know top, say, three to eight, you're probably going to stay in the top 50 for another world. And I think all I think for another year, and I think all these guys are thinking that you know, they're going to eventually sort themselves out. DJ is not the 38th best player in the world. You know, DeChambeau is not the 50th, 58th best player. Eventually, it's going to have to sort itself out. I mean, even if you're a player, I want to play against the best competition. So well, they it's got to sort majors, itself out. Yes, that's a, that's a big... They want the majors to be against the best competition. Yeah. Sure, That's a stumbling right. block if you're trying to recruit somebody to LIV who has not won a major. Yeah. Yes. Right. It's a stumbling block. So that's so, I mean, can't lay type of player who can still make a ton of money on the PGA Tour, who likes, presumably likes the PGA. If, if Cantley is not in that disgruntled, unfulfilled, or opportunistic, if he's not in one of those three buckets, and I don't know yeah. that he would be in any of those three buckets, he does. He, we have never said that Cantley was going anywhere because he doesn't fit in any of those buckets. And, and really I don't doesn't. even know if he, he moves the needle over at LIV. I don't, I don't well, he know, doesn't maybe. have the personality, so he, I don't think he moves the needle, but it's a unique situation with him not being at the hero. Like you said, it, it's free money. I mean, is it, did maybe, it's, I don't know, maybe he... Well, it's, it's, it's as much, it's not, remember, you know me, I'm not, it's not the money first. I'm the, it's not the money first guy. Uh, the reason you have to or want to be at the hero is because it's the inner sanctum. It's the top of your sport. It's right. the top of your profession. 
you want to be at the president's club. You want to be at this, the conference where all the best people in your industry, whatever industry that is, are, are attending because you're, so, you want to be among right. the superstars. It, and that's for sponsor money. That's for being, getting more shares at the tomorrow sports. It's everything you you want right. to be there. I mean, right. So so you don't that's want to the be point. Outside is, of that inner circle, he's he's not there. And and there's one of two reasons. One, he's not invited, or two, he's done with the PGA Tour. I mean, yeah. I, I, I I think you got to. There's I, only two I, reasons. Yeah. My instincts tell me that I have no idea, <laughs> because I could easily yeah. believe that he's having a baby or is, he's got a new girlfriend or the girlfriend or he had to go somewhere. I don't know. It's it's very odd. That he's not there, maybe there's a logical explanation. Hideki, that's I. I continue to think he's got his eyes on LIV. There's just too many reasons. Maybe he need, needs a lot of help to get there. It, you know, thinking it through. I don't know, but it just it'd be a big win for Japan. It'd be good for him. It'd be good for LIV. It, it just it's too good on too many levels not to have him yeah. over there. Um, but the whole thing yeah. is. The whole thing is really interesting. I love the correlation between the PIP and the hero. I think that's really cool. And the yeah. the uh, the correlation well, between the LIV players who went to the Saudi event back in February. It's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing stuff. And, and to really put a pin on the PIP and the hero, as we were saying, it is the slush fund for the PGA Tour players. And the funny thing about it, the thing that irritates me, I guess, not funny, ha ha, is, you know, they came up with 60 more million for the PIP, 250 million more in appearance money overnight. And Jay Monahan is not well, even like purses, it was right? the, uh, tournament purses. It's not even like it's hard. It wasn't like it was hard. Like Jay should be like, I was reaching under the sofa for change. I'm doing everything I can for these players. No, it was like, hey, here's the money. And yeah, so Phil was right. Greg was right. These guys were right all along. Where, where did all this money come from? Yeah. Uh, it's amazing. That's the frustrating that thing. They're not even, pre- to yeah, they're not even pretending. Yeah, they're not even pretending. Really, just Phil. That, I mean, I, nobody said yeah. it as much as or as loudly as, as Phil or as plainly as Phil. As Phil. As yeah. So hats and, off to um, him again. Oh, I know what I wanted to say uh, before you go ahead. But before I sign off, I want another point I wanted to bring up. So my my only other point was. Um, there's been some articles, and, and I don't know that we really want to get into this about, you know, how they, they've received a lot of money from China. There's been a couple. Um, they being the PGA Tour. They being the PGA Tour receiving money from China. And there has been a couple of um, watchdog industries that are concerned about the PGA Tour's um, status as a nonprofit. Obviously, they enjoy the, uh, I believe it's what, a 503B, and they have not filed a 990 with the United States federal government. And there's been a couple times where they've received uh, hundreds of millions of dollars from China. Uh, I'm looking at an article right now from the National Legal and Policy Center. So <laughs> it, it, it's it's interesting. Things really are slow in your neck of the woods, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking freezing wow. here. What do you want me to do? The, the weather uh, is I'm, not good wherever you are. You, you must be my, in my, New Brunswick or something. I'm in the basement. Calamity. My fingertips are blue. Maybe we yeah, need to start nuts. a. Can, well, before hey, we maybe before the, we sign maybe the off. audience will start a GoFundMe page. Yeah, really. So well, I, you, you know, so you should take some of that live money they keep sending our way and just buy a house <laughs> in the Bahamas or something. You live in Tiger Place. Uh, what I wanted to say was, and and I, hopefully some of you all have hung on this far into the episode. Um, hats off to Cam Smith. Haven't mentioned his name yet in this broadcast or in this episode, but he won the Australian PGA um, last week. Uh, in a pretty pretty well contested um, uh, tournament, uh, and and it was in Brisbane uh, where he's from, so that was I think pretty amazing f- for him. And he's playing as we speak in the Australian Open, um, and hopefully he'll do well there. I don't know how he's doing so far, but hats off to him. And uh, I'll, I'll sneak in here because there was a couple, a few comments on the Cam Smith why he went episode that uh, maybe Darkstar and I are just stupid. Uh, which is possible, but it, then it would be stupid relative to what? There's always that's a relative thing, right? Um, but maybe not. Maybe we we do have a good point. And we said that Cam went mostly because uh, he was unfulfilled by living in the United States. He couldn't be at home as much as he wanted to. And 
unlike a lot of other top achievers, he really values relationships, and a lot of top achievers really don't. And that's normal, that's typical, but he does. So we, we were doing some math, and he, so he, Halloween is the end of the live thing at Doral, so the end of October. So he can get on a plane, and we assume he did, um, and fly to Australia, go home, and he's there. Okay, so November p- plays in his Australian PGA, December plays in the Australian uh, Open, then he has said already that he's not playing again until who knows when. He's going to take off the rest of December and not do golf at all. Not really. Going to work out in January is what I've heard him say. Uh, after the first of the year, start working out again. Gym, all that stuff, hitting balls, that stuff. But then there's not a live event as far as we know and as far as what Liv has said until when, Dark Star? End of February, right? End of February, yes. End of February. So we have November, December, January, and let's just say most or all of February, most of it. And then the February event, late February, is Mexico. Easier to get to from his point of view. Is, everywhere is hard to get to from Australia, but not so bad. So he's got four months to be at home. So what are the odds? And we're speculating here, Darkstar and I. Uh, is he going to buy a big house on the water in Australia? He loves to fish. He loves to drive his cars. He loves Australian rules football or rugby. He's got buddies that play rugby. He's got friends all over the place. He... It's an amazing opportunity for him. Four months, all summer long, he gets to live at home in the Australian summer and not worry about anything. And then he gets on a plane and flies to the Mexico tournament for LIV, flies back to Australia. So my point to Dark Star was, and we'll see how it plays out, audience. And again, I'm just responding to a couple of comments that Max, the producer, shared with us and that we look at those, absolutely. Um, he's he. It may be, and I'm going to be watching his comments wherever I can find them, it may be that he is now able to think, maybe he's doing it already, maybe he's going to move in that direction, that he now lives in Australia and plays golf, works around the world versus most everybody else who lives in America and travels a little bit around the world for golf. He's going to live in Australia. He could easily do that, you know, fly to Mexico, fly back to Australia, get ready for the Masters, go to the Masters, fly back to Australia, get ready for the, the uh, PGA if he's going to play it, I assume he is, and oh, and when he flies back to Australia from the Masters, what has Liv done? They've put a tournament there in Adelaide at the end of April. So he plays at the Masters after being home another month, perhaps, between Mexico, LIV, and the Masters in Australia, getting ready for the Australian Live event. And it's there. He flies back from the Masters. He gets to play at LIV just down the coast from his house, presumably his house that he's building or buying over there, we're assuming. So the point we made in that Cam episode was, yeah, it's going to be real for him. Yes, he can travel to Australia. Yes, he was restricted from doing that for COVID. But that's a whole different ball game than what he's able to do now, which is really maybe live and raise kids in Australia for real and then travel for golf. And that, right. that, it's a long-winded answer to, that, to those few comments. Appreciate them. But it, I, I think it's playing out that Cam is enjoying – why he went to LIV primarily, which is being Australian centric again in his life. Yeah, and and that's is that what fair. Makes, is that fair, Dark yeah. Star? Well, not only is it fair, but it, it's what makes the LIV such a desirable place. You're on contract as a fan. I know Cam and DJ and Phil and Louie are all going to be playing pretty much every time, unlike the PGA Tour, where I'm lucky if I get five of the top 25 guys at a regular event. Yeah, so, well, they've changed that. The Super Tour right. is changing that. But you're, the they, they certainly it. had a big problem with their product, which only but made But the point is they have a season. So up. he's Australian. He can live in Australia. He can play his season of golf. And if they get, and it's going to take, I think, a couple of years. They'll get these majors straightened out. And, and I think there's going to, you know, there, there's going to have to be some capitulation on each side. But, um, you know, golf needs to go back to a season, which we said a million times, the, the slot machine open and the wine country <laughs> opens. I have no interest in Hey, it. John Rahm, um, uh, if you're watching, feel free to take us up on it because John mentioned pretty much those same words. Well, we're, we're going to do a couple. More, we're going to do a couple more episodes on the official world golf rankings, and along with some handicap episodes, some instructional stuff yeah, on this off season. Sure. I'm looking forward to it. If I can, if my fingertips don't freeze off in my basement here. Roger that. Yeah, look forward to it. Anyway, uh, 
good good research, Darkstar. I appreciate it. I'm going to get on out of here, and uh, we'll see everybody soon. But uh, B-Team is out. Dr. Darkstar is out. That's all for this video. For Dr. Darkstar and me, thanks for watching. This is a show about finding logical conclusions, and we appreciate you coming along with us. We'll be adding episodes as fast as we can. There's certainly no shortage of things going on in this world.